Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look and installing the eTrailer trailer hitch receiver on a 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan. Now this is what your hitch is going to look like when it's installed and the great part about this is it's a hidden cross tube meaning the only thing that's going to be hanging down invisible is going to be the receiver tube opening. Now this is a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, which is gonna be a great option. It's kind of the universal size that you see on a lot of hitches. So that means you're gonna have plenty of bike racks, cargo carriers, and ball mounts to choose from. Now when putting those in place, you will need a pin and clip, and it's gonna be a 5 8 pin and clip, which is not included with the hitch. A lot of times when you pick up accessories, they'll have one included, but if you already have the accessories and need to get those in place, we have plenty of options available here at eTrailer, including locking ones, which is really nice if you plan on leaving your accessories loaded up on your hitch you can lock that in place and know that no one's gonna walk away with it now if you plan on towing a trailer you do have rolled style safety chain loops here nice and open to put a standard s hook or even a larger clevis style with ease now speaking of towing if you plan on pulling a trailer you want to check the vehicle's owner's manual to see what it's capable of towing and compare that with what the hitch is rated at and this one is rated fairly decent uh, at 3,500 pounds, which is gonna be the weight of the trailer plus the accessories loaded onto it. Now you also have a tongue weight rating of 525 pounds, which is gonna be that downward pressure that's put on the receiver tube opening. And that's really gonna be your suspended accessories like your cargo carriers or bike racks. And with that weight capacity, you could easily put a four bike bike rack loaded up and it shouldn't overweigh that 525 pound limit. Now again, uh, if you do plan on towing, compare the number of the vehicle and the hitch and take the lower of those two so you stay safe. Now measuring from the center of our hitch pin to the furthest point of the rear fascia, looks like we're coming right in at about five inches. And that's gonna be important when choosing accessories because some of them, when they stow, like your cargo carriers or bike racks, they'll tilt up and you wanna make sure you're not making any contact with your rear fascia while folding them up. But this one, it protruded enough to where you should be okay. Now we'll also check our ground clearance here. And this one comes in right at about one foot. And that's gonna be important, not only for uh, just loading accessories, um, but also choosing if you need a rise or a drop for a ball mount. Now keep in mind with your suspended accessories, they are gonna be extending past the vehicle. So as you go up an incline, they're gonna wanna tilt towards the ground. So keep that in mind when loaded up, uh, anytime you go up an incline or on any rocky or rough terrain. Now, if you're wondering if your hands-free lift gate is gonna work with the hitch, the answer is yes. Now, as far as installation goes, this one isn't too terribly bad. You're simply fish wiring up four bolts into the frame rail to mount the hitch up. You do need to lower the exhaust to gain access to be able to get the hitch in place. Now, from the factory, Volkswagen puts undercoating on there and that does create a little bit of tolerance issues. So I highly recommend scraping the frame rail to clear that off before trying to raise the hitch up in place. And also something that we ran into is a little bit of clearance issues here. It was initially kind of pushing up on the bottom part of the rear fascia, but just a little bit of trimming went a long way to kind of gain that clearance that we needed. Now I'm gonna walk you through step by step and you can follow along just to make sure that we get your hitch installed on your Tiguan. Now to begin our installation, we're gonna be removing the plastic shroud that's in between the muffler and then attaches to the rear fascia. And this is gonna allow us to have that space for the hitch to live. So we will not be uh, putting this back up. So once we remove it, you can set that aside. And to get this off pretty easy, you have some Torx bits that run along the bottom here. So with the T25 Torx bit, we'll go ahead and get these removed. So just work your way along this edge. It looks like we have five of them. There's also gonna be two 10 millimeter plastic nuts. Um, and these are gonna be kind of tucked in this opening here as well as on the other side. So go ahead and you can get those removed. Now they may stay attached to the plastic piece um, and sometimes they'll wanna kind of cinch back up on those threads. So putting a little downward pressure will help kind of pull that away from it. Now we can go ahead and set this aside. Next, we're gonna lower down our exhaust to give us a little bit more space to get our hitch up in place. And these are attached to the frame via this bracket, and it's gonna be a 13 millimeter bolt. So we'll go ahead and remove both. There's gonna be one on each side. Now 
Now, depending on your Tiguan, you may or may not have bolts that are gonna be in weld nuts here on the side of the frame, and we're gonna be using those to install it, but this one does not have it, so I'm gonna show you the fish wire technique, and that way we can get our hardware in place. Now, as far as the fish wire technique, we're essentially just pulling um, a spacer block and a carriage bolt to become our mounting points for the hitch. And we're gonna be using this access hole to feed this through. So what we'll do is take our coiled end and feed this through this hole here. And just kind of push this back. And you can throw a bend in it if you need to, but just kind of fish wire this through the frame rail until you find it here at the access hole. Now it does, it took us a little bit to kind of get this fish wired through. Um, but what I'm gonna do on this back tail end here is put a nice bend and that way it doesn't pull through while we're getting the rest of our hardware put on here. And it's also gonna help when we get the hitch raised up. So you can just bend this back here. And then on our coiled end, we'll take a spacer block and a carriage bolt that you'll find with your hardware. And you're just gonna take the spacer block and slide this up in the frame rail. And the carriage bolt, you're just gonna simply thread onto this coiled portion. And then you're gonna pull from the back side your carriage bolt. You might have to put it at an angle here just to kind of get it in. And if you need to, you can actually go this way and get the head put in first. And then just push the rest into the frame rail. And then we'll just take this and kind of jostle it around until we get that thread to pull through here. Now leave your fish wire on. This is gonna help us make sure that these don't fall back in the frame rail and it's gonna make the installation of the hitch a lot easier. Now we're just gonna repeat the same for the back mounting hole here. So take that coiled end and feed it down to that access hole. So now we'll just repeat the same process on the other side. Now we're gonna get ready to raise our hitch in place and I do recommend having an extra set of hands to support it. Um, and what we'll also do is I know that these go through the frame rail, but right now I'm gonna push these back in. That way we can get the hitch in place and we're gonna pull these fish wires as we go up. And once we get it up in place and we pull this through, that's gonna hold it up, making it easy to get our hardware in. So I'll go ahead, grab the hitch and also make sure that you have at least two flange nuts ready to go so we can get those started. Now, before you get your hitch in place, I highly, highly recommend uh, this undercoating spray that they put on here does create tolerance issues and you're gonna wanna scrape that away with either a putty knife. Um, I actually used an oscillating tool with a blade. Just make sure you don't go directly into the metal, but this kind of cuts through it like butter. And the main issue I had uh, when kind of mocking this up is up in this corner, it's just gonna cause that hitch to not be able to go up all the way and those holes to not line up. So make sure you have this cleared out um, as good as you possibly can. And that's gonna make that installation that much easier when getting it up in place. Now, something else that I noticed when mocking up our hitch was we did have some clearance issues to where it wanted to push this portion of the fascia up. Now this is an R model Tiguan, so that may be why, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this notch out right here. That's gonna give us that clearance for the hitch to really draw up without pushing our fascia up. So you can use a Dremel tool. I'm gonna to use my oscillating tool here and that way we can get this trimmed out and that hitch can sit perfectly. Now cutting this out is optional. Uh, you can still get it in place. It's just gonna push it up slightly, um, but I'm just for that clearance sake, I'm gonna cut it out. Now, something I will point out, your kick panel sensor is located back here. So I'm gonna just, it's on a clip. I'm gonna peel that up so it's out of the way. We'll just unsnap this and I think we can uh, as long as we can cut here safely without making contact with this, it should, uh, we're gonna lose our retainer clip here, but I think the hitch being in place will hold that and uh, not have any issues. I'm just gonna go back and get some of uh, our burrs knocked down here. Now we're getting ready to put our hitch up in place and you wanna grab an extra set of hands for this. That way you can support it while getting the hardware in place. Now, those carriage bolts that we pulled through, I recommend pushing those back in and then feeding the fish wires through the corresponding holes on the hitch. And when we raise it up, we're gonna pull that out and that's gonna support the hitch. And if you do that on both sides, it'll make it a lot easier to get your hardware started. Got John here helping me. So we're just gonna kind of slide this over the muffler and kind of clear the rear fascia. And then we'll just take those fish wires and feed it through those holes before raising it up.
And I recommend kind of holding on to the fish wires to keep tension because it's gonna to wanna to pinch those wires up against uh, the hitch and the frame. So just kind of keeping this tight will help align it up a little better. And then once we have this in place, you may need to move the hitch around to feel where that mounting hole is. Jostle this through. And once you get that support on one side, get the other one in the same position there. That's gonna at least hold the hitch up allowing you to get your other carriage bolts pulled through. Now, once you get one of them passed through on each side, you're gonna to want to take that fish wire off very gently and have your flange nut ready as we're gonna just get a few threads started. That way it's gonna hold in place now, you do wanna make sure that it doesn't go back. So there's a few different ways you can do that. Now this one, the weight of the hitch is actually holding this in place. So it's gonna make it nice and easy here for me to get this started. Another option, if it's kind of rolling back on you is you can take the fish wire and kind of loop it here and just kind of hold that in place just so you can get your thread started. And then once you uh, get that, you can go ahead, get all of your hardware hand tightened on. Now that we have all of our carriage bolts hand tightened in place, I'm just going to snug them up using an 11 16 uh, socket here. We don't have to get crazy because we're going to come back with our torque wrench and torque them down. So just snug it up for now. Now to torque down our hardware, uh, you will need a torque wrench. We have these available here at eTrailer. You can generally go to an auto parts store and rent one for free. Uh, the torque settings are going to be found in the instruction manual, so just dial it into that torque setting and go through and get all your hardware torqued down. Now with all of our hardware tightened and torqued to spec, all that's left to do to finish up our installation is get our exhaust put back in place. And that was a look and installation of the e-trailer trailer hitch receiver on a 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan.